Science as a belief system is erroneous for two reasons. One being that it doesn't supply the uh, moral direction that a religion should. And the other that it changes science from what it purports to be a, uh, a mode of being where a hypoth an hypothesis is tested. And if it uh, uh, doesn't work, you throw it out. You now, the, the belief, as a belief system, it's not testing itself. See, it's, it's saying such and such things are true, or rather than test them. That comes up in ESP, for instance. Such and such things like telepathy are impossible from the point of view of science. Therefore, they're false. Now, normally, that would be a counterfactual that would test the belief of science. Belief being that all, sent, all information input is sensory. You come along with some se extrasensory input, that should throw questions about the hypothesis that everything comes through the senses. Instead of which, the scientific credo is evoked to throw that evidence out of court. That is no longer science then. So it's not good science and it's not religion. But I would like to say that science is not interpreting its own data to the fullest, it's not using its own stuff to the, in the way that it could be used. Uh, and that applies particularly to the quantum of action, this thing that's discovered by Planck in 1900, that there is an inevitable uncertainty at the basis of physics itself. Rather than look on that as some unfortunate error that you can't correct, you should look on it as a positive thing. And I think, uh, well, elsewhere I've said it's equivalent to the, what Bergson refers to as the vital force. It's not strictly a force at all, but it's a, an element of vitality that is moving the whole thing along. Without that, the whole thing goes dead. You're referring to, to light? I'm referring to element. light or life. They're both a vital essence that you can't, pin down into certainty. So as soon as you pin something down into certainty, it's dead. So this quest for order of getting everything pinned down is a death wish. There is the other side of it is, is the life part, which is being denied. By? Well, by the credo of science, by saying it all has to be governed by law. I got an inquiry from the uh, Union of Concerned Scientists about uh, all these horrors of nuclear war and so forth. And uh, I replied saying, well, the, the horse was out of the barn, it was too late to lock the door. Now they should do something upstream, by which I meant something about our basic philosophy, our way of looking at the world that would change us from this materialism that we seem to be locked into. And I ended the letter saying that uh, scientists who be really believed that you could reduce man to molecules uh, were not consistent when they were opposing the bomb because that also reduced man to molecules. <laughs> <laughs> Can you answer then this question about the uh, the power and limits of science? What what do you consider to be the limits of science? What are they traditionally considered to be, and what do you consider them to be? Well, reading Francis Bacon, he made a very clear uh, statement that science deals with secondary causes. You remember Bacon was uh, both credited and blamed for. Uh, modern science, but he was, 
careful to point out that, as I said, science should deal with secondary causes, and primary causes would be reserved for philosophy and metaphysics. Of course, uh, since that time, science has attained a lot of success and a lot of prestige. So it's automatically sort of dislodged philosophy, which is, if anything, lost prestige. And metaphysics is actually a bad word now. Uh, but the question of whose province it is to deal with first causes has been uh, changed because science inevitably has gotten into first causes, probing into the fund fundamental nature of matter, into black holes, questions like relativity, quantum theory, deal with first causes. In fact, uh, without first causes, science wouldn't have this stimulus to go on. I mean, what are they doing now? Making a Tevatron. That's even bigger than a Bevatron, a thousand times more energy. And there's hope to find fundamental particles. So, in going into first cause, it, it's, as it were, getting in on an assumption that's based on secondary causes. It's not equipped to go into first cause. It's using the assumption that's based on its methodology, the assumption of objectivity. So if it finds something non-objective, it's, uh, it's spaced out. It's not able to cope with it because it doesn't have a philosophical foundation or even a vocabulary to deal with first causes. The first place for reform is in the fundamental particles themselves, where forces take predominance as being more important than the objective particles. The, the projective forces are what need to be recognized. And behind that is the projective activity that I've ascribed to light and to the photon, neither of which science is prepared to deal with in the proper terms. Trying to call a, a force objective puts them into real, take this thing about, in order to account for gravity, they have to conjure up something called graviton. Not only were never are they never seen, but uh, they're a contradiction in terms because um, <laughs> and they disagree with the alternative uh, interpretation of gravity as bending of the space time field. I mean, explain how they're a contradiction in terms. It seems <laughs> well, <laughs> it seems intimidating. If, if, if gravity is due to the radiation of gravitons and a black hole is a compaction of matter so dense that nothing can be radiated, then uh, the force of gravity can't be radiated from a black hole. But the whole point of a black hole was that it uh, had this gravity that was attracting things to it. So that's why it's a contradiction. Don't scientists realize this? Huh? Don't scientists realize this? <laughs> well, I've been uh, finding these things more and more, and I wonder why somebody doesn't realize it. And I keep, uh, well, in my, my making my best attempt to scream about it, but uh, might as well address the surf. Uh, I don't want to get into my complaining about an occupation, but try and flag a scientist down. Just, just try it.